You guys have been asking me a lot about skincare lately and I recently did an upload on skincare where I talked about my favorite skincare of 2019. We did hair care and nail care in there too. What this video is going to do today, in a second you're gonna see me without any makeup and I don't have my hair done and I just got out of bed and I'm gonna be doing my morning skincare routine. I will be doing my evening skincare routine for you as well, but this way you get to see them broken apart and what order that I do use them in. So I hope that you do enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you're new to my channel. I would love it if you would subscribe we have a whole big YouTube family here. We love makeup, we love skincare, we love all things beauty, and that's exactly what we get into. Um, and the mature side of it, the things that we need as we age, as we get into menopause, as our skin changes, as, our, as the weather changes, we talk about so many of those different things and how the different things that can help us. So if you're interested in all that, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell down there so you can be notified of any future videos. Okay, we're gonna get into it. Like I said, no makeup, no hair done. You're gonna get to see the true undone me set back to factory setting. So let's get into my morning skincare routine so you can see how I do it. Here we go. So to start out, we're gonna take off any of the residuals from all of the skincare we had on the night before. And this is just my regular cleanser. It's the Purity Made Simple. I don't use a lot in the morning because I don't feel like I have a lot on there to you know really needing to be cleansed. So just about a half a pump. And then I just put it all over my face, my neck, and I actually do run it up my arms because I run my skincare on my arms too. And then I just go ahead and just take everything off as you normally would. Usually about three times a week, I'll do exfoliating in the morning just because I like how my makeup sits after I do an exfoliation. And I always put skincare on my ears and I always put skincare clear down to the boobs and all across the arms as well and I just clean everything off that I had from the night before. Okay, in the morning, I love to use my vitamin C product. This one is from Pixie. This is the vitamin C tonic. Love to use vitamin C in the morning because as you know, we have all of the pollution, the free, free radicals, and vitamin C is a really, really good anti-pollution free radical almost like a preservative when you're looking at it. Have you guys ever made a fruit salad and you put some lemon juice on top of your fruit salad before you, you know, served it? Because what that does is it helps preserve that fruit from turning brown during, you know, the next few hours. And that's what it does for our skin too. Don't forget to take it all the way down, take it up to your ears. And even if you can rub it a little bit around the back of your neck, and you guys, I've gotten to where I use just about the double amount because I want this all the way up my arms. I want it on my hands, all over my fingers, and all the way up my arms. I really feel like the past, oh, probably 18 months, I've been using a lot of skincare on my hands and my arms because I had such bad dark spots. And I really feel like everything has even improved on my hands and my arms as well. The next thing I'm gonna go in with is my Buffet from The Ordinary. This is just an all around awesome serum that helps with so many things of anti-aging. It has great ingredients in here. I just use one pump for my face and one pump for my arms because this isn't too expensive and I feel like I can do that. At this point, I'd like to just bring out to you the best order you can do your skincare in. When you do a cleanse, if you're going to go ahead and you're gonna do an exfoliation in the morning, do your exfoliating and then give your skin just a second to rest. And then after you do that, you go in with all of the rest of your skincare. And when you do that, you're always gonna go from the thinnest of your skincare to the thickest. But as you can see, this is really thin on the vitamin C formula, very, very thin. And then what I'm gonna go in with next is the buffet. And as you can see, that's a little bit thinner. I'm gonna put that all over my eyes because I feel like that's so good for my eyes too. And it doesn't cause any irritation up those ears, all the way around that neck, clear down all the way across the decollete. And then I'm gonna use one more squeeze of it. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put it on my back of my hands, fingers, and clear up my arms. So I've kind of gotten away from putting on too many layers in the morning for my skincare. 
Vitamin C in one serum is usually about all I do, and then I go in with my hydrators. I feel like my hydrators are probably the most important part because not only are they going to lock your skincare in, but they're also going to help with a little bit of other things that because of the hydrators that I do choose to use. So the first one that I use is the Hada Labo, and this one is their brightening serum or their whitening serum. This really helps. You guys can see that I have, you know, dark circles, of course, but I have a lot of redness that I fight right through here through my cheeks and especially on my chest where there has been so much sun damage. And this is really helping that. And then right after it, I go in with my Sukoyaka Suhada Urea Lotion on top of it. Now I feel like these two together are just a one-two punch. So I don't use a cotton pad because I feel like it wastes my product and I'm not I'm one that wants to get every bit. Put a few drops in my hand, I'll run that around. You can feel this has a little bit more slip to it as well. And I'm just going to kind of run that all over every single spot on my face. Ears again, down the chest. And I love this stuff, you guys. It's not very expensive and it's worth it to get it all over those parts of you that need that brightening. You know, maybe, maybe you have a lot of dark spots or something. But immediately after that, I go in with the Sukoyaka Suhada. I'm almost out of this, I do have a backup. But this is my moisturizer for the day. So when I said earlier that I do this a little bit different, it's because I love this for my moisturizer for the day. I don't use anything else to put on my face in the daytime because I find that this is so hyper hydrating and I love it. it. It has been one that I just, I can't live without this stuff. In the morning when I don't want too many layers, I don't want there to be a cream that might ball up, I use this. That's my hydrator for the day. That's all I do. Now I do go in with the Sukoyaka Suhada cream the eye cream and I will use a very generous amount about the size of a large pea and then I will do this all around my eyes and I just pat that all around my eyes smooth it around I go all the way from eyelid all the way underneath all the way out way far into the eyebrows into the 11s I go all around this orbital bone and then whatever's left, I will go and I'll put on my top of my lip because I feel like it's super hydrating. There'll be days when I use a product that does sting around my eyes a little bit. It's a medical grade product that I actually haven't mentioned. I'm still testing it. But on those days that I use that and I get that stinging sensation, um, it's from a probiotic that's in there and I guess I have a little bit sensitive eyes to that specific product. But my reason for telling you that is because when I use the, the Sukoyaka Suhada, urea lotion after that it takes down any of that stinging i don't know whether it's the urea what product it is in here but it soothes so much and the lotion as well it just soothes my skin so anytime I, if you have sensitive skin anything like that and you've been wanting to try something else but you're always afraid to these are really good products because they just are soothing they're super hydrating urea has a tiny property of exfoliation in it so you're going to get a little bit of sloughing of your dead skin which is fantastic to be able to put it all around the eye not have any irritation from that little bit of exfoliation but have that go on so that you can you know get those eye areas the new skin up there too even though it's very delicate so these are just my holy grail. Okay, as a last step, I will go in with my sunscreen. And I talked a lot in between there because I wanted to wait for this all to kind of sink in because I usually do wait about 10 to 15 minutes between my skincare being on and then putting on my sunscreen. I like to have all of that locked in before I go in with my sunscreen. This is from Misha. This is their Sun Milk Essence. I did talk about this having alcohol in it. It does, it, but it is a super, super thin product, which I love under makeup and it doesn't seem to dry me out. It sinks in so fast, and that's the part that I love about it. You can't even see it hardly at all, and it covers everything and goes around, and I just feel like for a sunscreen to not interfere with my makeup at all is so good. So I will just go along, pat that in. I pat it across my eyes, everywhere, so everything is very protected. And then on my arms and hands, I use 
the Australian Gold Mineral. This is a tinted SPF and I really like this too. It is a little bit thicker. I don't use that on my face because it is a little bit thicker, but I like the tinted property on my arms just because my hands do have those sunspots and stuff. So I will just go on anything that's exposed. Okay, that is it for today's video, you guys. I hope that you did enjoy it. Please I let me know in the description box if you guys are using a skincare product that you just think is fantastic, that has been so good for your skin and helped your skin so much. I would love to hear that because I'm always up for trying different things for a little while. I hope that you guys are happy and healthy and I hope you did enjoy this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind on your way out of here. Take care of yourselves, everyone. I love you so very much. Catch you all in my very next video. Bye-bye.